Ah, hello, it's been a while. It's here, it's finally finished. <laughs> this is the final production hardware for the Reboy kit. I've still got a couple of software things to work out, so I just wanted to make this quick video to show you how the new parts all bolt together while assembling a Reboy. If you're just finding out about the Reboy now, well at the start of the year I put together a Kickstarter for a Raspberry Pi and a Game Boy thing, and a few hundred beautiful people backed it. And, well, that's what I've been working on ever since. Now, the USP of my specific Raspberry Pi and a Game Boy thing is that it's supposed to be really, really easy to put together. And I think I've done really well on making it just, the whole thing just sort of clips and bolts together. So now I've got the final hardware in hand. Um, I just wanted to make this really quick video just to show the new assembly process for the Reboy. So here it is. This is the Reboy kit. It consists of a PCB for the Raspberry Pi and a fake cartridge, along with some screws and a flat flex cable the motherboard, the thing it's taken me months to design and produce, a display, a little display bracket, and lastly, a couple of rechargeable batteries. You'll need two extra things that aren't included in the kit. You'll need a Raspberry Pi Zero, either the one or the two, but obviously the two being the most up-to-date will be the best performance. And you'll also need to sort yourself out a Game Boy Color shell. There's no reason you couldn't convert an original Game Boy Color, but the best thing to do would be to sort yourself out an aftermarket shell on AliExpress. You know, go crazy, whatever colors you like for the shell and the buttons. So, let's get on and assemble a Reboy. We start with attaching the Raspberry Pi to the Reboy and we use this little PCB here with these little spring-loaded contacts on it. The Raspberry Pi simply drops on top and then gets secured with a screw in each corner. And there we go, those are the two parts popped together. And then we just need to add this flat flex connector like that, just plugs together. And we can put this whole thing inside of the cartridge. It just slides in like that. And then you use two more screws to secure the PCB in place inside the cartridge. And there we go, that's how the Raspberry Pi lives its life inside the Reboy. This whole thing just sits in the back case and it's held in place with those little tabs you can see at the bottom when you finally button up the enclosure right at the very end. So with that done, we can go ahead and start work on the front half of the shell. This holds the motherboard and the display. The display and the motherboard just plug together like this. Then this little bracket just fits around the display to hold it in place inside the shell. Simply presses in from the top and that's that. <laughs> that's the motherboard installed inside the shell of the Game Boy. You just go ahead and use three screws. These are the same screws in the same position as you'd use for securing an original Game Boy Color motherboard to the case. And now it's finally time to bring these two parts together. There are two connectors on the back of the Reboy motherboard for whether you're using SPI or DPI to drive the display. We're using SPI for the moment. So you go ahead and plug the Raspberry Pi into the SPI socket, tighten that up, pop the Raspberry Pi into the back case of the Game Boy, and then simply fold the two together. I am so happy with this solution. I think it's as simple as it could possibly be. A single flat flex cable between the two halves and then you just fold it up. You can then go ahead and reassemble the Reboy just like you would an original Game Boy Color with six screws through the back shell. And then lastly, it's time to install the batteries which just get installed exactly the same way you'd put batteries in an original Game Boy, except these are rechargeable lithium ion batteries. So don't go putting these in an original Game Boy, please. It will go bang. And of course, these batteries can be recharged with the Reboy's USB-C port. And there we go, all buttoned up. A little bit smudgy, a little bit fingerprint covered. <laughs> 
This was literally a few moments after I got the motherboards um, arriving in the post. This is my first look at how the whole thing comes together. You can see there the USB-C port and the little rocker switch in place of the volume switch. And I couldn't be happier. This thing looks incredible. So what's left? Um, I need to write a little bit more software. Um, the Reboy has uh, essentially a Raspberry Pi Pico baked right onto the motherboard, acting essentially as a Southbridge. <laughs> it's a, you know, a programmable IO controller. Um, so I just need to write a little bit more code for that. And then it's time to get onto production. <laughs> Order some bits in bulk and uh, send them off to people. Um, I was hoping to get uh, Reboy kit starting to get shipped out this year. Um, it's looking more likely now it's going to be the early start of next year before things start getting posted out to people. I lost a month waiting for parts to arrive in China. Hardware is hard, apparently. Um, but then that really is it. We're so close now to getting the Reboy kits out and in people's hands. So if you would like to uh, join the queue, obviously my Kickstarter backers will be the first people to receive the Reboy kits. Um, but if you want to reserve your place in line right now, you can go ahead and pre-order at reboy.io. Um, that's it for the moment. I'm going to have a couple more videos coming in really quick succession as I get things up and running, showing off what the Reboy can do. And um, yeah, hope to see you all soon. <laughs> Thanks very much. Bye.